When I got a phone call from Washington DC about coming to Regeneron STS, I immediately started crying into the telephone. My heart started beating really, really quickly. I was like, this can't be Regeneron. It was such a big dream of mine. I honestly couldn't believe it. I was shouting, screaming. To meet all these people and to come to DC and have this experience, it's already been, it's already been so great. It's been everything I've imagined. The Science Talent Search, I would say, is probably one of the most prestigious, most amazing research competitions for high school seniors. The Regeneron Science Talent Search looks out not only for the smartest students in the nation, but also the most passionate. It's a competition which really tries to find the next generation of scientists. Well, the Science Talent Search has always been an incredible uh, pedestal for students who are interested in science. I would always look up to these seniors who made STS, and it's really amazing that now I am this person. Before becoming a finalist, I didn't really have the same confidence in myself and my work that I do now. We've already won by being here. This is the prize. We have been so honored that in our 76 year history, we have had three sponsors. Now, our inaugural year, it's Regeneron, an incredibly innovative, entrepreneurial, biopharmaceutical, biotech company. It's a place where pretty smart and talented seniors in high school get to, most importantly, communicate the importance of their projects to um, the rest of the world. One of the biggest things with creating is collaboration. So one of the great things is that I get to meet all these people. It's great knowing that there are 39 other people that care about science as much, maybe even more, <laughs> than you do. This experience of being together and talking about different talking points is really eye-opening for me. Sharing this experience with them has uh, truly been very enjoyable. Honestly, these are the people who I've been looking for my entire life. It's also the Society for Science and the public staff, the judges, everyone's just here to celebrate science. The other finals have not only interest in science, but taking their own ideas and applying them to the real world. My project was on determining ocean temperatures using sound waves. My project includes a novel methodology to prevent relapse of leukemia, which is cancer of the blood. I invented a system that captures carbon dioxide from power plants using 90% less energy than current processes. These 40 finalists, their projects show incredible depth and breadth of their work. They are really tackling some really big problems, but using different disciplines. I thought talking to George uh, Yankopoulos of Regeneron yesterday was a really, really uh, fun experience. How he never gave up, and to definitely just like inspire us young scientists to believe that we can make a difference in the world. This idea of translating academic you know, science research into something that's really tangible that people can use is, is really an inspiring story for us. The Science Sound Search is a national treasure, it truly is, and it's something that needed to be protected and nurtured by people who really understand the value that it has to these kids, but to a whole generation of kids and to inspire them to really make a difference. And I think it's great that, especially since the founders are like alumni of this very program, to like give back. It really shows their dedication to looking for young talent and looking for the future of science. It's, it's important because it shows, like, inspires younger kids to get interested in science because they can see these older kids doing cool stuff. The public day that we have is a great way for schools to come. We'll be at uh, the National Geographic Center and anyone, I think, from around DC can walk in and see all our posters and projects. To all those who are aspiring to uh, become an FCS finalist or pursue a scientific life, I would just say to do what you love. And just sort of keep exploring whatever you're passionate about. There is no saying you're too young. Keep the humanities and language arts that help build the creativity. As long as you're dedicated, you'll have a positive result. Don't be discouraged. Keep on doing as much as you can. Being a part of the Regeneron STS finalists and interacting with all of the other finalists has caused me to see the true potential of our generation and want to be a part of the scientific community in the fullest way possible. Being here as a finalist, I know that I have many opportunities ahead of me to get involved in research and to make an impact on the world. To be able to affect change in the world is a challenge that I'm looking forward to. There's just palpable enthusiasm and excitement here at this gala as a finalist are honored as they all get together, the culmination of a long period of dedication.
You know when they describe the speechless feeling in news stories and things like that? I mean, it's just the most amazing feeling I've had ever. Well, it's really neat to know that people like my research. I'm sort of following in my grandfather's footsteps a little bit, because he was also a finalist. I feel blessed to have had family and friends who have brought me to this point, and just to be able to see and experience all the things I have on the way here. It's been the journey of a lifetime.